Now, I hope you've had your dinner, because our last story tonight might just turn your stomach. It did mine when I met a world champion, a world champ at eating. I'm in the kitchens of a pub in Northamptonshire, and with all this, it looks like they're getting ready for a big pub. And one man only. Yeah, that'd be fine, that This is Peter Dowswell. He's 65 from Earls Barton in Northamptonshire. A proud father and grandfather. He looks like your average kind of guy. Your typical granddad. That is, until you see him eat. Cheers. You better take cover. You may think Peter Dowdswell is just some greedy bloke whose table manners leave a lot to be desired, but he's become a record-breaking living legend. Since the early 70s, he's been smashing records, and he has more than anyone else in the world. 309 to be precise, they're nearly all to do with eating and drinking. And get this, he's six foot one and only 14 and a half stone. I can eat uh, 13 raw eggs in 52 uh, soft-boiled eggs. In two minutes, uh, haggis, pancakes, 62 pancakes, uh, our boiled eggs, raw eggs, three pound of mashed potatoes in a minute. I'll do a pint of beer in two fifths of a second, a pint of beer standing on my head in two seconds, a standard yard of owl in four seconds. I'll do 90 pints in three hours. The list goes on endlessly. OK, you get the idea. The man can eat and drink, but not for greed. Over the years, he's done it for charity. He's raised four and a half million pounds. He's also raised some eyebrows, but through thick and thin, his family have been there, cheering him on. Dad's very loving, caring, thinks of other people, and his family, well, he just can't do no more for us. All the different things, some of them are so disgusting that it makes your stomach turn just watching him, but that's what we're there for, to support him. When they had a Yard of Owl competition in the village where I live. My mates went down there, they was all paying five pence to have a go, drinking a top owl. And they pushed me into having a go at it, because I don't like beer at all. They pushed me into having a go at it. And on my first attempt, I broke the world record. And it just snowballed from there. And the phenomenon doesn't just end with Peter, it's a real family thing. Today, they're here at their local to do what they do best. There's the daddy, Peter eldest son, Tony, and Peter's other son, Melvin. The boys hold records following in their father's footsteps, but it's good old dad who has the healthiest appetite of them all. It's amazing, but he's obviously a one-off. Normal people wouldn't be able to eat like this. It just wouldn't be able to happen because he, outwardly, his signs are that he's okay. But clearly, if the normal person ate like this, it wouldn't be okay. 
If you or I consumed that amount of food, the first thing that would happen is you'd start to feel very uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if you've been out and you've had a rather large meal and you, first of all you get that really uncomfortable feeling. That's then got to be processed. So you might feel tired, you might start to feel dehydrated and if you continue to do this then you're going to get lots of other side effects as well. Up north, when I'm building, I'm building a lovable lunatic. Down at south, they build me as a, as a nutter for the stuff I do, but to me, yes, I am a bit mad. I don't advise people, many people to do it, but I am a bit mad. But I, I enjoy it because ever since I've been doing it, Go. I've been doing it for handicapped children, raising money. Well, I keep retiring. And then people phone me up and say, we've got a young boy that needs an electric wheelchair or needs something. So I come out of retirement to give my name to try and raise it. And while we were filming, it seems old habits do die hard. A record holder, Peter's still a record breaker. 37 Brussels sprouts in a minute. There we are. We end the first programme of the new series, Breaking a Record. Now, earlier tonight, we met Heidi, whose new implant means her stammer is virtually a thing of the past. Now, she's our guest on BBC Local Radio, starting right now, 4-5, 007. <laughs> it's heavy with nothing on it. Next week, we're at Woburn. Chris is there. Oh, oh they have a fight. Ah, oh, no, no fighting. What was that all about, huh? He's been on here for hours. Kim Wilde goes on a hunt for big cats in Bedfordshire. It's dawn, just after 4am, and it's the best time to see big cats, it's when they hunt. And death of a music legend, truth behind the fire which killed Steve Marriott. Steve developed this uh, auto-eager character, especially on under the influence of certain drugs, and um, Steve was aware of this, and Steve, Steve uh, called himself Melvin, Melvin the bald-headed wrestler. <laughs>